All right, guys. So <clears throat> we're gonna continue moving on. This is page five fifty-eight. I'm gonna keep working out some of the odd ones. So Mr. Sullivan bikes at a constant speed of twelve miles per hour. He wants to find the number of hours it will take him to bike fifty-four miles and determine if each statement is true or false. So we're gonna look at the first one. To find the number of hours, subtract twelve from fifty-four. Well, let's look back at our question again, and it's talking about. Mr. Solomon bikes at a constant speed of 12 miles per hour, right? He's going 12 miles per hour. So right off the bat, before I even dive into the other information it gives us, if he's doing 12 miles per hour, how many hours would it, or in two hours, how many miles would he do? What would we do there to figure that out? Well, it would take him, or in two miles, he would do 24 miles, right? And all I did there is I do 12 times two which equals 24. So if he wants to find the number of hours it will take him to do 54 miles, well, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna subtract 12 from 54? Is that how we figure this out? No, right? Um, so we're gonna put false there. That's not how we figure it out. 54 minus 12, that's not what we're gonna do. Because if I'm figuring this out, it's 12 times something, right? Let's say, we'll say just miles for M, and it's gonna equal 54, right? So 12 times something equals 54. Um, to find the number of hours, divide 54 by 12. Well, let's see here. If my equation, like I said above, is 12M equals 54, how do I isolate the variable here to figure out how many miles it is? I would have to divide by 12 here, divide by 12 here and then figure that out. Is that what I'm doing? Am I dividing 54 by 12? I sure am, so that answer would be true. And now for the last question, it will take Mr. Solomon five hours to bike 54 miles. I'll let you guys figure that last one out on your own. And that's how we solve number 35. All right, so now we made it to our favorite part, which is the common core spiral review. This is when we go backwards, right? So number 37 says 138 divided by six. So how would I figure that out? Um, well, this goes in, oh, I'm not typing, I'm not writing, sorry. So this is in and out, right? So here's my little division house. Again, 138 goes in, six goes out. Now we're gonna figure out how many times can six go into zero? Well, it can't. So I go to the next number, which is 13. Can six go into 13? It sure can, how many times? Well, six times two, is 12, right? 13 minus 12 is one. I bring down my eight. Now six times what equals 18? Three. So there we go. I am done. My answer for this one is 23. I'm gonna let you guys take a peek here. Yeah, you guys can work out the rest of them. On number 41, I would say use the power of estimation. So we don't know 24, our 24 tables, right, if we're <clears throat> trying to figure it out. So just pretend this is 25 and get a number that's going to be close to 200 so you, it can help you guys figure out what number is going to go in there. All right? So how many times can 25 go into 200 or 216? That, that'll be easier to figure out, right, in your head? So that was just my, my little clue there, number 41. Never underestimate the power of es estimating. Uh, number 43... Says the table shows the cost of concessions at a concert. Evan spent thirty-one fifty buying popcorn for his class. How many bags of popcorn did Evan buy? So table shows the oh, and the concessions are over here. So Evan spent thirty-one fifty buying popcorn for his class. Right, he just bought popcorn. Uh, how many bags of popcorn did he buy? So we have thirty-one fifty. And we know popcorn costs a dollar fifty. So what am I gonna do to thirty one fifty to figure out how many popcorn packs you bought? I'll let you guys think about that. And think about how we all miss popcorn, right? I don't know about you guys, I don't think I have popcorn in my house, but it's all good. We'll get it back soon. My little popcorn bucket. Alright guys, uh I am signing off. Good luck with this. Come with questions if you have some.